Now I'm going to look at extrusion and something I use a lot of and that's something called proportional editing. So this time I'm going to be adding a circle um, and before I do anything else open this up and it says how many vertices or how many little dots are on the edge of the circle. Now I want quite a lot of detail so um, uh, oh, I don't I know I'm going to go kind of 80 I think. Oops click down there 80 and enter. Now when that's selected and I go into editing mode or tab I've got many more vertices. Now I want to just select a certain number of those and working from on top so that's numpad 7 for me. I'm going to select the top one, bottom eight selections and then scale those, S for scale and pull it in and then A for all that selects everything and extrude ah, but I want to extrude only in the Z so I press the Z and that contains it so it's it. Right so I mean that, you know that's quite kind of interesting I actually want to be able to soften this, um, you know, so it's not so harsh on these edges, and that's where this proportional editing comes in. So let me undo that and undo again. Yep. Now this time, all I have to do is press on that button, and it, sw it technically switches it on. Okay. So now if I go um, scale and move this. Um, it's a much softer kind of um, movement scaling, um, or you know whatever. Even if you're grabbing, it would be softer, and it is controlled by the size of the circle. So you can see as I make, I'm, I'm, I'm turning the mouse wheel. Um, as it gets, the, the uh, white circle gets smaller. Then the influence of the proportional editing also gets smaller. So you can do, you know something much softer like that and so when that is everything selected A for all extrusion and in the Z direction you've got something that's a lot sort of um, more rounded and flowing okay um, but now say you actually want this in here sharp but you want this rounded you can change the shape of the influence that the proportional editing has. So once again let's just undo and undo once more and now I mean I tend to use the smooth most of the time but I'm going to actually go to sharp this time. So again scale and move that in and you can see it's it's now got a sharp aspect to here and then rounded over there. So I'm happy with that. So once again is A for all, so all of the vertices are selected, extrude, and in the Z direction, and up it goes. Okay. Right, so now I think I'm going to look face on to that, so numpad 1, because I want to work out sort of what height I want. I'm, I'm thinking of doing a kind of vase here, so the proportion of the height of the vase to the width of the base turn on my move key and then I can just grab like that. Now you can see the proportional editing is still on so when that happens I get the circle and you just got to watch out the times when you want it on and times when you don't want it on. I think it's now I actually want it off. Um, I think I need that a little bit taller. All right. Now I actually want to curve, you know, this is going to become a vase, I want to curve this this edge, but everywhere. Um, and uh, as in the cups we did right at the beginning, you know, you, we can't curve these straight lines. We have to put more definition in here. And what we used was loop cut. Now uh, the shortcut for loop, loop cut is um, uh, key, keyboard shortcuts, just get rid of that, uh, is control R. Uh, and if I use the um, keyboard shortcut, I can then roll the mouse 
and then I get the duplication of the, the loop. So once again, I'm kind of really rolling it so that I'm getting a lot of detail and looking for a square sort of shape in here. Now, um, it was a left click that accepted the uh, loop cut, and you need to um, click twice. I'll just undo that again. So Control R was the job. So I then roll with my mouse. Um, I'm actually rolling forwards. If you go the other way with your mouse, it won't, nothing will happen. All right. And I'm happy with that number. Left click once, and then you can actually move the selection up and down. And this is, you know, for other jobs, but we don't have to worry. And I have to then place it just where I want and a second click and it's the second click that gets it to accept. Okay, so now if I click off to the left that deselects all of that. Now I want to put a sort of shoulder onto this or a belly I suppose, belly this out. Um, but I don't want it right in the middle, a little bit up so um, it's, uh, you know, I want to once again select all of this row across here so it's Pressing the Alt and a left click, and that's, that's done that. And then by pushing this on again, now I, this time I don't want the sharp, I want to go be back to the smooth. I mean, I could do the sphere, possibly you can try different things. Uh, but now when I scale that, I've got much more control of it. So actually, as I say, I want more of a shoulder. Um, so I'm spreading that out a bit. Something like that. Um, actually, something watch out there that um, it does vary as to whether you've got you doing in the Z direction. Obviously here I scaled it in all directions and you can see the gaps down the bottom here are still quite square where up here it's got a bit oblong. Um, so I'm just going to undo that. So my scale um, and not in the Z direction. So that's Shift Z. So you can see it's only in the X, Y direction. Um, and then that's a bit more subtle I think. Okay, and must we bring the top in a bit? Okay, and scale the top. So I'll reduce the wheel a bit now because I don't want it to come in quite as much. Okay, um, now so that was E for extrude, moving it up. Now what I'm going to do is actually rotate this so I start getting a bit of a curve to, to the whole these um, verticals. So now it's extrude, but I only want to extrude around the blue, and the blue is the Z. Not extrude, I mean rotate. So um, R for rotate and in the Z direction. And I want to bend the whole form. Right, so we've done extrusion, we've done proportional editing, and now we've done a bit of rotate. I think I've rota over-rotated that, to be quite honest, but anyway, we'll live with that. Um, now I want to put a bit of a neck onto this and then probably a bit of a lip onto that so I can extrude again, uh, extrude and in the Z direction and then extrude and then the Z direction again. Um, but I want to get a bit of a curve to this so I actually I'm going to loop cut that. So that was the control R again, and my one wheel a couple of times. Now I can select just the very top, and this time I'm going to try more of a sphere shape, I think, and scale this 
Now you can see the, the you know the wheel is huge, in which case it's affecting the whole form, and all I want to do is affect just the very rim of it. That shape didn't work very well. I'm undoing that. I'll go back to normal smooth. Switch it off just for the very last one. Okay, so back into oops, uh, where are we? Tab back into um, uh, where are we? Object mode, and then you need to scale this to what you're happy with. Um, but uh, you know, one a power of kind of working on computers like this is to be able to actually edit and change and do you know a number of uh, kind of iterations of a piece so um, having selected that it's shift d to duplicate it and enter and let's just switch this on and so i've got a copy over there shift d duplicate enter and then move that one over there so this enables you to try you know seeing what this looks like as a much taller version scale in the z direction and let's move this one over a little bit, that one over a bit. and then we can go back and edit this one so tab to get into the editing i'm going to select the base a bit switch this back on not in the z direction there we are try a different character to that one coming back into object mode select this one and so then this one we might try scaling in the x direction and a little bit scaling in the z direction so you can see quite quickly i've managed to produce three items similar in character but individual at the same time at the moment we look at these and they're very kind of faceted um, that uh, you know you might like the facet um, uh, quality but we can also smooth this out quite a lot and so this is introducing a new area within the kind of layout of the um, the blender program i'm just going to select the middle one here and what we want to do is go for the modifiers and so down the side here are a whole lot more tools uh, but it's the spanner we are after so the spanner is called modifiers okay so i clicked on you know there's a whole lot of things here clicked on the spatter and then i get the modifiers and in the modifiers drop down and there's one called subdivision surface and that's what we're after so once again in our whole mass of tools here you know, there's a lifetime within this modeling program but anyway subdivision is what we're after click subdivision and then you get some particulars here and immediately you can see this one has been smoothed out a little bit over these ones so it's been all of the um, you know sort of uh, faces have been subdivided by one so then we can actually click over here one and we click two and you can see it's got even smoother now um, and uh, so i'm happy with that you know and i could go and do the other ones as well or you know any other object you've got on blender can be subdivided and smoothed like this um, now this remains live it can always be switched off or you know if i go into edit this you can see in the edit mode it's still the kind of the coarse mesh uh, but underlying that is this very fine mesh in the finish um, but uh, if i'm happy with that is then this little drop down next to the camera image don't ask me what the camera image is anyway a little drop down there and it's apply so now if i'm happy with you know my modifier i've put on 
I can apply it, it goes away there. And now if I go into edit mode, you can see it is fixed like that. And now each one of these, you know, sort of uh, vertices, edges, and faces become what you'll need to then edit. Right, so that's the, um, the first modifier that we've introduced. It's the spanner and the modifier, and um, it's, uh, the, the abbreviation is subsurf, uh, but subdivision surface to give you the smooth, smooth result.